How to open in B in the auto tail lights. Let's start with the tools that we'll need to open these. First thing you'll need is an oven. And in the oven are these rubber mats. They are uh, designed for heat. Um, these have been in here for a couple years now uh, and they're still going strong. If you don't have an oven or not allowed to use it, you can use a heat gun. Um, I prefer the oven because it heats it up evenly. The heat gun doesn't. So uh, if you can, just use the oven. It makes things easier. Once you have it heated up, you'll need to use some flathead screwdrivers to pry it open. Uh, I use a combination of pocket screwdrivers and uh, bigger ones to get it open. You can also use one of these. These are just some uh, panel poppers, trim poppers, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, as you can see, they've been used quite a bit for lights. It just kind of helps separate the lens a little bit if you have one that's uh, fighting you. Really nice to have. After that is a Phillips screwdriver inside the lights and sometimes on the back, they'll have screws all over it. So uh, you'll need a Phillips screwdriver. I like to use a uh, impact just cause it's faster. Next up is cling wrap. You gotta protect the lens. You don't wanna get any scratches on it. After that is retro rubber. This is OEM grade butyl. Uh, so this is pretty much the, gonna be the same stuff as they used to put in headlights. Now they're starting to do more perma seal, which sucks, but this stuff is really good for resealing the light. And finally is clamps. I have different sizes. I have a lot of them. Uh, this is gonna go all the way around the headlight so that it holds it together while it uh, cools off and it'll make a really good bond with the lenses and the butyl. Okay, you're gonna wanna set those aside so that you can have them for later. Before I open this, I do need to let you know that this specific side is glued in place. I don't know what happened. I bought them off eBay. They look really good other than this glue that I found on the top. I don't know how much trouble this is gonna give me. See, this side, no glue. This side, glue. So this lens could crack, but it it is very easy to get these off without cracking them. Recommend gloves. I'm not gonna use any though. So we recommend starting with the tabs here along the bottom. There's only three. So uh, what I like to do is just get my pocket screwdriver in there and kind of release it just a little bit so that whenever you do initially pry on it, uh, it should just go right past those tabs, no problem. Start over here where it's a little bit thinner. We'll work my way around this way. Oh good, the glue came right off. So what I do with all these stringies is I just take my pocket screwdriver and peel away from the inner housing and away from the lens. And now that the lens is open, uh, you're gonna wanna go ahead and put cling wrap on it so that you don't damage it while it's sitting around so you can build your lights. It doesn't really matter to us on this set. We're gonna end up throwing this red lens away because we're doing a clear lens swap with some custom LED boards on the inside. After you've done your modifications, it is time to reseal the lights. So that's where we get our uh, retro rubber and we are going to fill the trough back up with some uh, butyl. Okay, now I'm putting the lens on. So uh, you gotta look out for a couple of things. One, this circle here has to sit right inside this trough right here and this part is angled out. So you gotta get it underneath these lips to seal up. It's a little tricky. Now that you have it started by hand, you can put it in the oven. It's been eight minutes, we got the lens out of the oven. It's time to put the clamps on. So I use a microfiber to protect the lens from scratches whenever you put the clamps on. Uh, I don't want to have scratches all over this. Every once in a while, you'll have to use some of these C-clamps, adjustable C-clamps, so I'm going to put that on right now. And done. Okay, bye.